Hello everyone, this is B. Squigglehausen here, also Jay from Upside Up Productions, and I'm here with another new 2012 LEGO City Set 4432 Garbage Truck. Uh, this is just released today, uh, supposed to be for 2012, and it's part of the Great Vehicles sub-theme. You get, as you can see here, two minifigures, two trash cans, and of course, the garbage truck. So, like most reviews, I'm going to start with the minifigures. So, here they are, and they are identical except for the heads. Blue pants, overall top, regular, uh, different faces. This one's got beard and glasses, kind of standard. That one's the new 2012 women's face. And blue hat. Of course, back printing. They've got just the back of overalls. Now, the problem is, I'm not a big fan of these torso, of this body combination for garbage people. I'm also really, really don't like this woman. Because from the back, they both look identical, which makes her bald. Because she doesn't have a hairpiece or anything. I, you know, I usually really like it when Lego put girl figures as well. Just kind of even out the numbers. But this was a place when they probably should have given, uh, given us a couple male figures. I'm also not a big fan of the uniform. Uh, this is the figure from the old garbage truck, which I also have. And I much prefer that for like a garbage man, like the plasticky clothes because you wouldn't want to get any garbage juice so yeah uh, that's it now those are the figures and now on to the garbage cans they're just garbage cans pretty much uh, this is the green one you get two fish silver fish and a banana banana you can see right here it'll go into focus there we go and you get a banana now I always thought these green ones were recycling bins, but apparently not. Apparently these are like compost bins. Now you also get just your standard gray garbage can, and that just comes with a couple colored one by one round studs. There's brown and then there's tan as well, just like the old garbage truck. The old garbage truck actually only came with one garbage can, except it came with a whole bunch of those little pieces. So now that's all the accessories and the figures, now on to the truck itself. And here it is. It is pretty big, very green, and European styled. Actually, the green brings me to my first point. It's not regular Lego green. I have here a couple hoods from other sets. This is from the old construction site. This is for public transport. This is standard green. This is lime green. As you can see here, neither of those are the green that this set is. I don't really know how well you can tell, but this is like in the middle, it's a bright green. And I thought this was just going to be regular green, I'm really happy that this is like a slightly different shade of green. Now you really can't see very well, but there, maybe you can see that that's a different color. It tr if you can't see it, trust me, it's a different color. Uh, if you buy this set for yourself, you'll see. So if you're interested in this set for parts, make sure you're aware of that. Now we're on the front, you can see you've got a big old windscreen, uh, a sticker grill, not a big a fan of that, it says city, sure, okay, it can say city, that's fine, but I kind of wish we got a couple grill plates instead of the sticker, it just kind of feels a little cheap, even though it's probably more expensive than just adding a couple more grill plates, and of course the set number, 4432, uh, HA happened to be the designer's initials, which is why you see them in Lego sets a lot. I know the marine, the harbor was designed by the same person, as you can tell because the transport truck is HA Transport. So yeah, just little interesting fact. And of course, green bumper. Around the side, recycling logo. Recycling logo. You get a couple uh, tools, broom and a shovel. You get a grab hold thing. Uh, you get this really nice textured side which isn't really texture, I guess, but it's made of round bricks, so it gives us a nice, like, very cool, very realistic to garbage truck cylinder side. Down here, very plain, just a couple grills and a little panel, one by four, uh, two by four tile, excuse me, and yeah, 
Uh, the back does, of course, open up as it should. You can see here that this, which is actually a tailpiece, which I thought was interesting, folds up. It's a lot stronger than the old design on the other garbage truck, except it doesn't stay up as well, which kind of stinks. Uh, and yeah, it tilts up. And now if I pull this off, you can see an interesting new piece. You have to pull a lot of stuff off to be able to reveal it. But, I don't know, I'm not big into Technic, and this seems kind of more of a Technic part. But, this looks like a rehash of an old Lego design. And I can tell it's not just the old design brought back into production. Because it actually comes, it's actually three pieces. It's this piece, right here, the bottom. The top. And then a Technic pin in the middle. And they combine to make a hinge that is very similar to some one-piece hinges we've seen a long time ago, like the 1970s for Lego. Now, there's also another fairly new piece right hiding in here. Uh, just a bracket, big old one by, big old two by four bracket piece. And, I don't know, it works. It does its job, it holds probably the same or better to two one by four pieces. And now as I rebuild it, you can actually see there, that might be better. These are bright green, that's standard green. So that's a much better uh, depiction of the difference as I rebuild it. So yeah, interesting color. I really like the choice of bright green over regular green because it just gives more colors into city vehicles. Not everything's yellow, orange, and red, or white. So as now we come around back, you begin to see one of the interesting play features of this set. On the back, you got your license plate and taillights, and then this weird apparatus. And there's, of course, all explained by the steering wheel on the side. It's a bucket thrower mechanism. You can take your bucket of trash, your trash bin, stick it on the back plate, and then, and it's empty. That's really cool. I really like this feature. Uh, the old one, which I'll compare, is nothing like that. It doesn't have any cool feature like that. Also, you get the mother of all light bars up here. This thing is huge. It's awesome. This side, much like the other side. Inside, just a seat and a steering wheel. You don't even get a coffee cup like you usually get with trucks. So, that's all for this truck by itself. As you can see, sneaky in the back, we've got the old version of this set. The old garbage truck here for a comparison. As you can see, very similar scales. This one's a bit more American. This one I think is a little more European. This one's taller, it's got two exhaust pipes. It's got a yellow light bar. Uh, the backs are fairly similar. This one's actually longer by a lot. And it's interesting because you can see that the designers put the detail in just different places. This person, whoever designed this one, made a very conscious effort to have this, the hydraulics, be on the side, where on this one, there's no hydraulics at all. Now, you can also see this one, the back, whoop, I filled mine with all the spare parts, uh, sticks up, it's on a click hinge. This one is not on a click hinge, as you can see here, and it just kind of floats back down, which is kind of unfortunate. Other than that, though, very similar kind of shapes, very, hey, some, somebody's not very happy down there. Uh, yeah, so they're very similar, kind of. I'm not sure if this one over here is completely unmodified. I've had it for a little while. And as you can see, the garbage can mechanism for this one is just like an arm, which kind of sucks compared to this thing's awesome throwing capabilities. So, overall, I mean, they're both very similar sets in purpose. If you have this one, 7991 from a while ago, they're really not happy. If you have 7991 from a while ago, probably don't need 4432, but even together, they both look very good. This one can be trash, this one can be recycling, this one can be for the green bins, this one can be for the gray bins, and they both complement each other pretty nicely. And, you know, it's always cool to have different sets and different interpretations of similar subjects. So, on the whole, with Lego City set 4432 garbage truck. It's a good set, uh, buy it. Although, if you're starting a city, I get this asked a lot, like, oh, I'm starting a city, what set should I buy? If you're starting a city, don't buy it. Buy 
Spend your money on sets, save it and buy buildings. If you're starting a city, get buildings and things. Don't get this set. But if you just want to flesh it out, flesh out, get more traffic, want a highway scene and you need a bunch of cars or want any sort of scene like traffic, garbage trucks are always nice to drive by with and they can usually be like slow, like you can be like have a car chase being caught behind the garbage truck or like a garbage truck that's like raining garbage and you know it'd be pretty cool. But overall it's a good set. Uh, I bought it, I'd buy it again and yeah, definitely keep this one in your head if you're looking at sets from this great vehicle city sub theme. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.